moment we get attached to something, to the person or to something else, we give our power away and we give our freedom away. We become trapped. We become like, this is controlling us. You is dependent on that person. This is not freedom. This is not how it should be in a relationship, okay? This basically makes you a prisoner. It's got a co total control over you and your life. <laughs> it can get really, really bad. I know something about this. I, you know, I've been in a situation where such attachment to someone was controlling my whole life, okay? My choices, my, uh, you know, cities I lived in, the cities I traveled to, my future plans, like everything was controlled by this person. At the same time where the person wasn't even committed to me, okay? So I was that blind. Uh, I mean, I wasn't, I was in denial. I was like, I'm gonna do it all. <laughs> Woman is able to do anything for, for a man and that's, that's true. But let's make sure it's the right man. And he re reciprocates the same because that's what we deserve. Ask yourself a question. Why am I attached to this? Why am I so emotionally attached to this person? What is it about it that I literally am addicted to this, okay? What are the things that I literally cannot let go of? What are the things that keep coming back to me, keep coming back for me, not letting me to walk away or to let go or to stop thinking about this? Uh, you might realize that it's not what you think. And you might realize that it might not be even the person, that it might be just... You know, you know, the way the person makes you feel or like the, the moments, the good moments. How someone can even compromise your health like that. And they might not even see it that way. But that's, but that's how you see it and that's how you feel it in your body. And that's how you have all those uh, symptoms. Do not attach yourself to the outcome, okay? That could be anything. That could be what do you want the relationship to evolve to. Um, okay, uh, you see the outcome that you really, really want to have in your life and uh, we often attach ourselves to that outcome, okay? So we just like, you know, no matter what, this needs to happen, no matter what, it's happening, okay? And I've been there as well, like, no matter what, I'm gonna make this work. <laughs> Uh, you know, like <laughs> all the wind in my in my eyes, I'm gonna make this work. And as much as I still believe this is how I live life, uh, I literally I'm gonna make shit happen for myself in terms of dealing with someone we really really love. If that person is throwing shit at you and you still wanna <laughs> make it happen no matter what, that is not right. That is not okay. Okay, so just just let's that let's. Let's make that clear. My big, 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 big advice. Have a plan B. That is not to say that you should sa sabotage your relationship and think negatively and, you know, assume that it's not going to work. No, 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 no. Like, have a, have a plan B. Like, always, we always should have a plan B, okay? Because we never, we never know. Yep, you taking control over your life, you taking control of the relationship of yourself, of your happiness, and you making it happen. And so. literally anything you decide is possible for you. Anything that you open your mind to is possible for you. And you deserve the best. Okay.